hasn't even been two weeks and guess what? I'm out again. So join us on this adventure. I'm going herping with Todd to look for some leaf tail geckos. We're only going for a couple of nights, but I'm taking a pretty obscene amount of stuff. I've got a lot of camera gear in there. I've got a new drone and my boots and everything in there, as well as a saw, just in case I end up finding some logs and stuff I like. Got a few bits of clothes in there. Because of this trip, it is going to be a bit cooler weather, so I've got like jumpers, long pants, that sort of stuff. I do also have somewhere in there a sleeping bag as well. Got to have the trusty Cobra. And then I've just got this swag, my hook. And a nice little plant saucer in case we find anything that's a bit spicy. Unfortunately, Jason is absolutely doomed to hurt. He was supposed to be coming on this trip and this is actually his master plan as well between him and Todd. And I just got invited for the ride essentially, but unfortunately Jason's little daughter got really crook just before the last moment and she's ended up in hospital. So everyone, send him your best wishes and one day we will get Jason out there into the field with us and see some reptiles. But yeah, the poor bugger can't come on this one either. You found me. <laughs> it should be hopefully going up now for you. So we just got breakfast all sorted and we've also got dinner all sorted as well for tonight. So good old eggs on bread with some tomato sauce for breakfast. And then for dinner we're having yeast and hops. <laughs> Todd's just going to go get the ice. But no, we've got a case of beers. I'm not going to be drinking them all now, but it's just cheaper to buy them in that way. And it's always nice having a cold bevy before we go out for the night. We just got up to the campsite at Dorigo. Um, gonna just quickly set up the swags and everything while we got a little bit of light that's remaining. And then we're gonna go hit it early, go and see what we can find, and uh, yeah, hopefully get these Moritz leaf tail geckos set aside. Might need a couple of bevies before we go. Hey? Cheers, dinner. We haven't even gone on the walk yet, yeah. we've got the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Typical leaf tail is on a brick wall on a toilet block. <laughs> So we got the first one and I got a couple of good photos of that one. And Todd spotted this other one here with a regenerated tail. Another nice looking individual bar the regen obviously, but 
Even still, we've only been looking for them for not even a couple of minutes, really. Been able to see a couple of them. Again, it's got the standard mite in the eye. Most leafies tend to have these particular mites. Cool little geckos nonetheless, definitely. We've got a little tree frog of some description here that we'll have to ID at some sort of later stage. Super high up here, it's about 50 metres down at the moment, so we're trying not to startle it too much because we don't want it to go all suicidal on us. What a cool little frog, looks like a little juvenile. Yeah. I feel like I, I definitely know the species, yeah, but I'm struggling to name kind of like it. Tick it off and you'd be like, oh yeah, that's the one. Yeah. And I feel like I'm stupid for not knowing what it is right <laughs> now. <laughs> Half the fun. At least you got the cogger in the car, mate. Yeah, you got time to ID that one. <laughs> yeah, well, I did. Definitely before uh, when first light comes or something. <laughs> like that. That's sick. I'm a sucker for epiphytes. Yeah, but there's like. Did you keep going? Yeah, has like fishbone type fern. Mm. And you've got this, uh, this one here that's running up on the left. And you've got like a slenium, like a bird's nest. And then there's like another, like, kind of like rock orchid type looking thing. Yeah. It's insane, hey? It's so crazy here at the moment. Like, we've run into so much fog. And just by making the head, head torch really, really bright, you can actually see how intense the fog is. So. We're just taking our time, lowering the light, pff, not swallowing bugs, <coughs> and uh, yeah, trying to find these leafies on some of these thicker branches and thicker trunks. Yeah, it seems to be getting a bit denser here, hey? Yeah. Everything's just so moist. What kind of spider made those? Yeah. Does it look like anybody's home? I can't actually see any of them. See that like, right here? Mm. Cricket. Like, we could even just, you know, breed some of these. Yeah. You know, just like obviously the Morris would be eating these. Yeah. At least it's a native. Yeah, might have, might be higher in some sort of vitamin content or something that, you know, helps Moritz survive. Tell you what, if you want a hollow log, this is the hollow log. A little bit up here. We could literally climb up that thing, and it is probably enough that you could almost carry two people, or you know, two people could probably climb up almost side by side through there. Look at all the fungi and stuff yeah, like that in there as cool. well. That is a big log. You should go jump in and in it just for size reference. Like that tree is just a freaking monster. Put a little door on it. Yeah, call it a day. <laughs> little hobbit home. <laughs> See, it's a massive snail. Apparently, this is only a baby one of these panda snails. So, they get a lot bigger than this. I think I've had a couple of them in the shop in the past, but to give you a bit of size reference, this is only a young one. It's still a pretty decent sized snail. It would be a good size snack for a pink tongue or a blue tongue or something like that, that's for sure. Pretty dense through here. Hey, yeah, it's awesome. On the, on, the, more on the other side, you get more of the big trees. Yeah. So I think because we we were here last time, we got to the first waterfall and it was still light. Yeah. So we couldn't see, we hadn't seen anything yet. You see the first one just before that waterfall you can hear. Yeah. Um, but here it's not really like good habitat. Yeah. Not stuff. enough trees yeah. for them. And they don't really like that um, epith the epiphytes either. No. They're like a bear. Well, they need to be able to run up yeah, and down exactly, nice and so easy so they can hunt. I haven't seen any on anything without the fights. So this is like a real dense. Talking 
Todd and I were just saying how this lichen almost doesn't look real. It almost looks like somebody's just painted it on because of the crazy colours on it. It's pretty unreal. It's like almost a turquoise yakery type greeny blue. Pretty cool looking stuff. That's for sure. Stacks of cleanup crew here. Just get a handful of soil. Yeah. You'll be getting all sorts of different springtails and stuff from this. That's mad. See the size of a millipede. Cool looking critter. These isopods have got these sweet little orange frills to them as well. They're all over the rock. There's stacks of stuff here. We've probably been walking for about an hour or so now, maybe even an hour and a half. And Todd's just spotted this leaf tail hanging off this thick branch here. Thick trunk, I should say, not a branch. Intact tail. It's a beautiful little Moritz, hey? Definitely have to get some good in situ photos of this bad boy. What a stunning gecko. It's funny finally seeing these guys in, in the flesh after having kept them for a while. Now I don't keep them. But I'm going to give all this footage to Jason so he can appreciate them. So you can see he didn't make this trip, unfortunately. But yeah. Freaking stunning gecko. I wonder if this one's got any mites. Can't see any yet. It looks like he's a bit dehydrated. Funnily enough. Definitely the good thing about leaf tails is how cooperative oh, they yeah. are. Like we've just like, been pumping this guy with photos. Anything else? <laughs> there we go. The best part is, didn't have oh, to touch him. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think part of his tail is it like yeah. looks like it's a bit flaky. These guys would just be hanging out on these trunks, just coming down to hunt little bugs and things like that that might be around the tree bases. He's because you like he's quite high. Yeah. So he's like, probably about what 1.6 off the ground. I yeah. I'm just under two meters. He's kind of around my chest. Yeah. Cool little animal though. Yeah, it, so as cool I was, it's got, as I was saying though, like it does look a little bit weird. Like it does look like he's potentially yeah. a little bit dehydrated, and yet everything's moist. <laughs> Todd got eyes on this other one, just sitting down low to the, the forest floor, having a bit of a hunt. Got good middle sized smaller ones we've seen yeah. so far. Yeah, we've only seen larger ones and this looks like yeah, going anything off mine, probably a yearling or two yeah. years old sort of thing, depending on the sort of food wicket that it's been on. That's wicked. Four. Another nice shot for in situ. Four in. Four in. Okay, so we're up to your record. Yes. We're going to beat it for sure. 100%. We haven't even got up to where I seen the first one <laughs> last time. It's awesome to see these guys. And, and you were saying that you pretty much only ever see them on the smooth yeah, bark trees. The, this is on actual palm. Yeah. So, although I ha I'm not an expert and I haven't seen them that much, so. No, but it's still experience. Yeah. More experience than I've got, mate, so. I love the orange stripe that the yeah. marks get. That's, That's something that really thing. attracted me to them. He does have something like that back there, doesn't he? That's a cracker orange, eh? Yeah. It's like, a, like someone has just drawn with a texture down the middle of the back. It's got a nice leg spread. He's perfect proportion, this one. He is, eh? Nothing too out of ordinary. And we've only got one with a regen tail so yeah, far, so true. we definitely can't complain about that. Five, new record, baby. There you go. I definitely don't have my leaf tail eyes in. I was just saying to Todd, I was like, yeah, you can imagine one like right down in here. And then this guy's sitting right here. So obvious. And Todd reckons this is the one he, he saw it last time that he was here too, on the exact same tree, just a bit further up. It's pretty cool to bloody see. 
This one's really weird, hey? It's got like a super dark head. Yeah, and then like a dark tail and like a region. Yeah. And then the body is like perfect. That's a big gecko too, yeah, this one. Chunky, I, re yeah, I reckon chunky. this is going to be a girl. Not that I'm going to touch it and flip it or anything, but I reckon that's a girl and I reckon it's potentially even got some eggs. Just judging off that girl. Compared to all the other ones we've seen. Yeah, that's a big gecko. Right, I'll give you a bit of a, a size comparison here. Pretty decent sized animal. There's like fun thickness. Yeah. <laughs> That's good looking. This one is just whacking me out of the head. Yeah, it's I weird like, how it's You chuck it on this tree and then it'll go like all that light colour and then you're like, yeah. oh, it's completely different gecko. Yeah, it's just blending in really nicely with the darker wood, really. Yeah. could be wrong, but we've got some type of... I think it's a giant barred frog or something like that. I'm most likely butchering these frogs tonight. But what a stunning animal. This thing's probably about half my palm size. It's a decent sized frog. Definitely be smashing a few of these big bugs out here. Just hopped out in front of us. Beautiful. Uh, pretty much as, as Todd called it, we both saw this one over here. And while we're looking at this one, I quickly noticed this other little guy down over here too. Little juvie. That one's actually yeah, probably halfway grown or thereabouts, but got a nice original tail. And this one's, that one's so slender, it's yeah. so long, hey. But yeah, a nice big regen tail on that one, so it's still doing all right. But how cool is that? That's a two for one on this massive tree. They don't blend in quite as easily on this one. <laughs> that one was so obvious. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, that's awesome. Yo, the, this tree's so big that it probably actually has a few more yeah. on it, we just can't see them, because it's no, decent sized log. Head up into there in the day. Yeah. Mad shelter. Look at all those plants just growing out of it as well. Just goes on like forever. Cannot even see the top of that. <laughs> How insane. Actually this one. That's mad. Just spotted number eight on the back of a tree trunk. And look how wet this one is. It's absolutely glistening with water. Another beautiful little one. Love those orange stripes down their back too. That is like the biggest telltale that I love of these guys. And then like the three or four white bands over their tail. Love that. How sick. We've absolutely pumped these little critters tonight. This has been awesome. So, walked another 10 meters. Got number nine. What's that, four in like 50 meters? Definitely four in like under 50 meters. Like it's been ridiculous. Bloody awesome though to be able to see this many of them. And that makes six with non-regenerated, like with original tails and three with regenerated tails. They're all on different sorts of timber as well, but they do really favor these thicker tree trunks. That is for sure. The only ones that we've actually seen on um, anything man-made were the first two near the toilet block. So that's, that's bloody crazy. I'm so stoked. To give you an idea, this shell on this snail is larger than a golf ball. So it's a pretty decent sized panda snail, but they still get way bigger than this too. Well, there we go, we cracked it. Number 10, perfectly in ambush too. How sick is that? Another one with a regen tail. But bloody cool to see this little lizard. Definitely got to be stoked on this night, hey? Oh, yeah. Ten. Ten's not half bad. Oh, stoked to see one. On the toilet walk. <laughs> it's cool to see this little guy hunting, though. Yeah. Like, actually, like he's ducked his head down a little bit now, but... Yeah, you got a tiny frog mouth. Just as we're trying to hammer it back to camp. Cool to see these guys. Always an impressive bird. But he's taking his time. He doesn't want to. Doesn't want to bolt on me yet. That's 
so cool. Oh man, we still can't complain. That's number 11, so still counts. We were hoping for a little juvenile hatchling or something like that, but we're back at the toilet block essentially and we found a completely different gecko. Actually, it's a bit of a stonker. Quite long. Yeah, it is long. But we're going to call it a night now, I reckon. And uh, yeah, happy with 11 Moritz here. Oh, psych. Here's number 12. 12, I'm losing count. So we've now. Huh? That's number 12. That is number 12, yeah. <laughs> Bloody hell, this is awesome. A good sized little geckos actually, give you a bit of an idea. The last one was actually quite a bit bigger than that, so yeah, cool little animals. <laughs>